What's going on you guys? In this video I'll be showing you guys how I got a team takeover in the first quarter with my defensive player, my pure lock. I didn't even know this was existing in the game until I got it, <laughs> which is really crazy. So in this game, I'll be getting a lot of tips, steals, a lot of rebounding, a lot of dunking. So I'll be doing a little bit of everything. That's how I got it in the first quarter. I got a tip there. LeBron finds me in the lane. I was trying to shoot it over there, but I don't know why my guy pump faked. But it's okay. We get a three-point shot with Ingram. Goes in. And this is the first game where I actually got a little bit more minutes. Because usually in my first few games, I was only playing like 10 minutes per game. Not too much. And I am playing on Hall of Fame, by the way. So everything I'm doing in this game gets multiplied in terms of rewards in the end. So I got a good contest on CJ McCollum. And now I'm playing some good manual defense as well on CJ. He's trying to do some of his dribble moves. So this is why I decided to go as well to the Lakers because they were the team that was the most interested in me. They're offering the most VC. And also I wanted a challenge to play out in the West because there's way more tougher guards to play defense on. You know, there's Lillard, there's McCollum, there's Devin Booker. Obviously there's the Golden State Warriors. There's Westbrook, Paul George. There's a lot of competition in the West. And in the East, I didn't really have that many teams interested in me besides Detroit but I didn't really want to play with Detroit but that's why I went to the Lakers if you guys are wondering and I also wanted to play with Rondo and LeBron because they could pass me the ball because obviously with my build I'm not gonna scoring sensation I'm not gonna carry the team offensively so I'll be needing you know a good team that could score and right now I just got the takeover badge filled up to the max so that was awesome to see and what's funny is that they call a timeout, so I thought maybe it was going to expire or run out because I didn't activate it. So the first thing I did is as soon as we came out of the timeout, I activated it. So here we go, team takeover. And I didn't know how it worked. I didn't even know I was controlling LeBron James as soon as I inbounded the ball. That's why I went backwards with him. It took me like a quick minute to realize that I was controlling LeBron. <laughs> so I was like, oh my goodness, this is the first time... That I'm in team takeover, I have no idea how it worked. I didn't even know it existed. So to see it actually happen in the first quarter as well is truly amazing. You know, good team basketball, you know, with my player, with the whole team. You know, we're all hyped up, we're getting some stops, we're getting buckets. Beautiful transition. So it's a beautiful thing to see. If you guys can see my defensive stopper badge activated so my defensive stopper is at a bronze right now and i'm so close to getting it on silver i did a step back three with ingram right there i was feeling confident hit that beautiful sh jump shot but speaking of jump shot though my player his mid and three is pretty low so i had a wide open shot here i released it too early and if i do that on hall of fame you already know it's gonna break but it's all good as I was saying, my, my defensive stopper badge is on bronze. Well, as of this gameplay, it's on bronze. But right now, I have it on silver as we speak. And I think I'm almost halfway to get it on gold. And look how fast I am. I outran everybody. So this is one of the reasons I made this build as well. is because of the speed. You can outrun everybody. LeBron has a sick pass right there. I didn't even have to press X. LeBron just passed it to me because you know when you are off ball you have to press X sometimes to call for the ball so this time they pass it to me by themselves which is great to see behind the back with my player <laughs> who says lockdowns can't dribble <laughs> I'm kidding but still that was a nice behind the back move to get a layup by my lockdown and at this point I already have 12 points and LeBron with a mean poster you already know I had to include that in this video. LeBron gets a nice poster right there. And right after the poster, I played some full court defense. I bumped him like a boss and he gets a backcourt violation. So the quarter's winding down. I run in the lane and I'm boxing out their center. Do you guys see this? I am boxing out their center and I got the rebound. 
My player is only 6'2", guys. He's only 6'2", and I was boxing out their center, and I got the rebound. That's crazy. And I'm cutting in the lane again. My player is just way too quick, way too fast. So if I sprint inside or if I'm on the break, nobody can catch me. I get another tip right there. Beautiful. So like I said, one of the reasons I also made this build is to disrupt the offense. I get another rebound there. I get another rebound again over their center. I got two offensive rebounds in that possession. That's crazy. So if you know how to position yourself, how to box out, and you jump correctly, you could get some rebounds. Look at this. I'm running inside the lane again. I wanted to get another rebound. And Rondo made the shot, which gave me an assist, which is nice because right now I'm getting another rebound. <laughs> My guy is only 6'2 and I'm getting double T. That's a lockdown defender, guys. Oh my goodness. They are double teaming me and I'm a pure lock. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, so I'm 6'2, getting rebounds, getting double teamed, causing havoc on defense. Here I am running inside. Nobody boxed me out, so I got a free rebound right there. And in the fourth quarter, I didn't play too much. I only played a few minutes. Good defensive stop right there. I'm running the floor once again. I'm just standing there because I find Beasley running the lane. So that's a good thing. When you're being when you're fast and they pass it to you, you could move you could advance the ball really fast. So if they pass it to you, you don't even have to dribble. It's just a quick way of advancing the ball. Because passing is probably the quickest way to advance the ball instead of dribbling. So this should be my last possession. I'm waiting again. Kuzma runs the floor. Because I know my guy doesn't have a pull-up jump shot, so I just waited there. For Kuzma, I'm a little bit patient. And at the end of the game, they're asking me how did I explode offensively. But there's some background copyrighted music, so I didn't put it. So I have 20 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, great stat line for myself. And I'm just starting to get more minutes right now. So imagine when I get more minutes and I upgrade my player even more and I get more badges, how insane it's going to be guys. So if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a comment, drop a like. Make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for more because my next gameplay is going to be even crazier. It's LeBron against Kawhi Leonard in Toronto. We were down by almost 20. We had an insane team takeover once again. We came back, made it very exciting. So I'll be dropping that either today or tomorrow. So make sure to stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.